Awesome stuff. Welcome to this live stream where we're going to read Acts chapter 15 and we're going to spend some time in prayer, spend some time in discussions, Q&As and all that. So welcome to this live stream. If you're watching from YouTube, it is great to have you join in today and if you want to stay for some Bible reading and whatever happens on this live, whatever whatever we talk about, then be sure to do so and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more live streams like this as well, if it's by any means any blessing to you. I know the Word of God is life. The Word of God is living and active. It's sharper than any double-edged sword. And whenever we feed on the Word of God, we grow in faith and our souls need the Word of God. So praise God. Also, I want to say a welcome to everyone who's just joined on the live stream from TikTok um rashi greetings i'm well thank you by the grace of god how are you doing rashi let me just move this out a bit so there's no camera wobble <laughs> praise god guys praise god thank you for the likes there rashi i appreciate that yeah we're just gonna wait a little moment guys before we uh open up in prayer and then we're gonna read acts chapter 15 as mentioned um, hello, I hope you're doing well, Jordan. I'm well by the grace of God. Elizabeth, I hope you're doing well. I'm glad you're doing well, Rashi. Uh, does the Bible support gay people? Jen, welcome to the love. Well, the Bible uh, talks about the love of God so much in a way that uh, nothing can separate the love that God has for people. But the, the actions that we perform, uh, if it is sin, it is what God hates. God hates sin, but He loves the sinner. You see, uh, we all have uh, we all have the, the same nature as human beings. We were all born into a world of sin with a sinful nature, um, and the humility that one should have to be able to acknowledge that they have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God will enable them to start seeing the truth by Jesus Christ. So. Um, you will start to see when you discover Jesus what the Bible talks about regarding all these sins, not just homosexuality or not just, uh, you know, drunkards and not just thieves. You know, the Bible talks about right and wrong and the Bible teaches us right from wrong. And you will discover that yourself. So there's, there's one thing me telling you what it is. But I want you to discover it. I want you to discover the love of God and see your true identity. You see, Satan has people in a trap of uh, them believing in themselves in a certain identity that is not true. So that is important, all right? But yes, welcome to the love. Uh, uh, Ari, sorry, Ari is from Chile. That is amazing to hear. How are you doing? Ari and Chris, welcome to the love. I'm glad you're doing good, Elizabeth. Hello, MG. Welcome to the love. Uh, Begs, good evening to you. How are you doing, Begs? Uh, how was your day, Jordan? Maureen, welcome. My day was was all right, thanks. Yeah, my day was not bad at all. How was your day, Maureen? Uh, Irma, welcome to the love. How are you doing? Uh, JD, thanks for the follow there. Yeah, we're going to spend some time in God's Word tonight. Acts chapter 15. But, we, but before we get started, we're going to open up in prayer. And then after Bible reading, we're going to uh, have some time for Q&As, prayer requests, and discussion. And so yeah, Truth Inspired, welcome to the live. Great always having you on, on live. I have been clearly getting endless clarity lately. That is amazing to hear begs that is amazing to hear i love hearing these small little testimonies uh sometimes some of them being big but i love hearing these testimonies truth inspired with that rose i appreciate that and the shout out does go to truth inspired by the way guys i do encourage you to follow truth inspired filled with awesome content uh for the glory of god uh for the most part it's so awesome to see that uh we need more more accounts like truth inspired when you pray, pray for me, please. We separated with my husband. He stays with another woman. I'm sorry to hear that about you. I'll definitely be praying for you. Um, and I'm sorry that it's been hard for you. But God will help us 
through any and any situation so do know that god is with you he will never leave you nor forsake you as long as you do uh, the right thing and you know that god is just he's faithful to forgive and um yeah so let's pray guys and then we will spend some time in god's word as well heavenly father god we come before you in jesus name we thank you for this evening we thank you for this live stream and we thank you more importantly for your word lord we pray that your word will go into our hearts that truth will set us free from you father god from above and i ask you holy spirit for wisdom for revelation and understanding from your word and i pray that you would have your way on this live stream lord jesus and i pray especially for this person that's uh, had the, uh, her husband that's uh, with another woman lord you know exactly what is going on you know exactly everything about the situation i just pray for peace over the situation i pray um that uh they will come to repentance lord and i pray for restoration in the right areas and that your will be done in this person's life father god and that you would comfort this person in this time and, and heal this person's heart lord and show her what to do show the right thing to do father god in jesus name bless everyone under the sound of my voice lord i pray in jesus name that you would pour out your love upon each and every one of them and thank you that we will receive from your word tonight in jesus mighty name father god we give you all the glory praise and honor amen awesome amen guys kiara welcome to the live great to always have you and i know that you you don't always get to join but don't ever feel obliged to join um don't feel pressured to join these lives i know sometimes things get busy for us and there's no need to apologize but it's great uh to have e literally all of you guys you know we, we all just here to uh spend time with god and spend time in the bible guys so we're gonna do that right now and with regards to bible reading let's read acts chapter 15 and during the bible reading guys i'm just going to put the comments off so we focus on the word of god and then also i appreciate you tapping the screen i encourage you to keep on tapping the screen for a little while to bring in more people to hear the word of god especially now as we get into bible reading and boost the love but glory to god guys let's get into his word tonight acts chapter 15 uh, praise God. Okay. And a certain men, sorry, and certain men came down from Judea and taught the brethren, unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. Therefore, when Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and dispute with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain others of them should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and elders about this question. So being sent on their way by the church, they passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, describing the conversion of the Gentiles, and they caused great joy to all the brethren. And when they had come to Jerusalem, they were received by the church and the apostles and the elders and they reported all things that god had done with them but some of the sect of the pharisees who believed rose up saying it is necessary to circumcise them and to command them to keep the law of moses now the apostles and elders came together to consider this matter and when there had been much dispute peter rose up and said to them men and brethren you know that a good while ago God chose among us that by my mouth the Gentiles should hear the word of the gospel and believe. So God, who knows the heart, acknowledged them by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us, and made no distinction between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. Now, therefore, why do you test God by putting a yoke on the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? But we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved in the time, sorry, we shall be saved in the same manner as they. 
Then all the multitude kept silence and listened to Barnabas and Paul, declaring how many miracles and wonders God had worked through them among the Gentiles. And after they had become silent, James answered, saying, Men and brethren, listen to me. Simon has declared how God at first visited the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. And with this, the words of the prophets agree, just as it, uh, just as it is written. After this, I will return and will rebuild the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down. I will rebuild its ruins and I will set it up so that the rest of mankind may see the Lord. Even all the Gentiles who are called by my name, says the Lord, who does all these things. Known to God from eternity are all his works. Therefore, I judge that we should not trouble those from among the Gentiles who are turning to God, but that we write to them to abstain from things polluted by idols, from sexual immorality, from things strangled, and from blood. For Moses had throughout many generations those who preach him in every city, being read in the synagogues every Sabbath. Then it pleased the apostles and elders with the whole church to send chosen men of their own company to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas, namely Judas, who was also named Barsabbas, and Silas, leading men among the brethren. They wrote this letter by them, the apostles, the elders, and the brethren, to the brethren who are of the Gentiles in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia. Greetings. Since we have heard that some who went out from us have troubled you with words, unsettling your souls, saying, You must be circumcised and keep the law, to whom we, to whom we gave no such commandment, it seemed good to us, being assembled with one accord, to send chosen men to you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men who have risked their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have therefore sent Judas and Silas, who will also report the same things by word of mouth. For it seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things, that you abstain from things offered to idols, from blood, from things strangled, and from sexual immorality. If you keep yourselves from these, you will do well. Farewell. So when they were sent off, they came to Antioch, and when they had gathered the multitude together, they delivered the letter. When they had read it, they rejoiced over its encouragement. Now Judas and Silas, themselves being prophets also, exhorted and strengthened the brethren with many words. And after that, sorry, and after they had stayed there for a time, they were sent back with greetings from the brethren to the apostles. However, it seemed good to Silas to remain there. Paul and Barnabas also remained in Antioch, teaching and preaching the word of the Lord with many others also. Then after some days, Paul said to Barnabas, Let us now go back and visit our brethren in every city where we have preached the word of the Lord and see how they are doing. Now Barnabas was determined to take with them John called Mark. But Paul insisted that they should not take with them the one who had departed from them in Pamphylia and had not gone with them to the work. Then the contention became so sharp that they parted from one another. And so Barnabas took Mark and sailed to Cyprus. But Paul chose Silas and departed, being uh, commended by the brethren to the grace of God. And he went through Syria and Cilicia, strengthening the churches. So even we see there was a contention even in, uh, in and amongst these great men of the Bible. So this is the whole thing, guys. When contention happens in this day and age with people, um, deal with it in love. Deal with it in a way that you can at least be at peace. Even if you depart from each other, let it be done in peace. I had to 
break ties with a friend of mine um, a few uh, like a few months ago already I think it has been uh, well since July the end of July and um, I had to break ties with him and I did the best that I knew to do at the time to make it a peaceful uh, separation um, but it was at the end of the day God really delivering me out of a road out of a journey that could have led me to uh, the destruction of my calling so sometimes we do have to cut ties sometimes we do have to stick to what God wants us to do regardless of how easy or how hard it may be to do that but always remain on the path of God when you don't get a piece about doing something I mean Paul had it had the idea of going back to visit all the churches all the places that he's been um, to um, and check up on them but um, you know Barnabas wanted to take someone else with him and there was a bit of a dispute um, a bit of an argument perhaps but you know always make sure to do the right thing do what God has called you to do and don't let anyone hold you back from that that's one of the hardest lessons I had to learn for myself uh, back in July but I, I really couldn't have done it without God because I prayed about it and God delivered me from my enemies so it is amazing um, that when you when you pray about it when you ask God for the strength the Holy Spirit you ask him for boldness he gives you the strength the boldness to do what you need to do uh, no matter how hard it is sometimes we have to make difficult decisions in life but I'm telling you when you rely on the Holy Spirit to enable you to have that boldness have that courage to uh, to uh, do what you got to do then it benefits uh, your walk with God it benefits um, your journey ahead your future I mean so that is Acts chapter 15 that we just finished reading tonight, guys. And um, also just an extension to what the Word of God is saying with the Gentiles now also uh, receiving the grace of God and receiving the Holy Spirit, being filled with the Holy Spirit. And, and um, so, of course, there are also those traditional uh, ways that the Jews wanted to implement for the Gentiles, for them to also get circumcised. But um, for, for us in this new covenant, whether you're a Jew or a Gentile, the way you are saved is with a spiritual circumcision as a, a, a child of God, a descendant of Abraham, whether you're a Jew or Gentile, um, you have been grafted in, or well, more so the Gentiles being grafted in, but because um, the Jews are God's chosen people. But um, yeah, many, many Jews unfortunately don't, uh, they don't believe that Jesus is the Messiah um, but we know that um, God's grace is available to everyone Jews and Gentiles alike amen awesome praise God so the chat is back on guys if you have any prayer requests or you have any uh, questions put that in the chat uh, Watoto thanks for the rose there by the way and good job tapping the screen as well guys especially for bible reading it really boosts the life to bring in people to hear the word of god but all glory to god and unfortunately tonight i do not have uh, a whole lot of time we got scheduled load shedding for 8 p.m tonight um so i will be ending this live around 8 p.m uh, maybe a little sooner than that um because usually I like to start at 8 p.m. and then run until about 10 p.m. But uh, today is going to be less than an hour pretty much. Praise God. Praise God. Welcome Yaku uh, to the live and everyone else that recently has just joined in. Um, also what I've been doing guys and what I'd like to continue doing for however long I'm going to be doing it for is to upload these live streams to youtube so if you guys want to go through the whole journey of reading through the book of acts i'm currently uploading a video right now uh i'm surprised that the internet's working pretty well for the live but it's been pretty slow I'm uploading a video um only on act seven you know so i've been a bit behind i'm going to be working on catching up on all uh, the live streams that have been uh basically saved 
in my TikTok so I can just go to the live replay and download them and post them straight on to YouTube. And um, so if any of you guys want to do that, you just go to my profile, click on the, I think it's the Instagram logo, you'll see my Instagram and my, my YouTube there. You can check out all the live streams that perhaps you may have missed. If you just want to read the Bible reading, you just want to watch for Bible reading, then you can also just do that. But it's pretty much the whole live, so there's a lot more than just the Bible reading. Um, but anyway, uh, Bele, uh, sorry, Bella Thome. Why do you say, oh no? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, is that for the load shedding you mean? Yeah, the load shedding has been pretty generous. Like we've had really no load shedding for a, a good stretch uh, before last night. And we uh, haven't had much load shedding in the last like couple weeks. Uh, but now recently the schedule's back. So they're giving us load shedding like at least like once a day now. Um, but it's up and down, you know. I just hope that in the, in the future that, well, not even hope, I believe that it will, that load shedding won't be a problem anymore and they'll fix, um, you know, what's been destroyed. You know, the, unfortunately, there's so much corruption and it's not only South Africa, it's worldwide and that's why we need to pray for our country. Uh, uh, no problem, Frighten, and I appreciate you going to YouTube to watch it as well because... You know, building, uh, you know, building up on YouTube is a lot more difficult than TikTok. Um, you know, so I want to get more involved with YouTube to spread the God, the word of God on that platform as well, um, and expand on that because it will be a lot better. But yeah, um, we'll get there by the grace of God if it's His will. Pray for our friend Matthew. He's had a constant headache for over a year. He had a procedure today. Sorry to hear that truth inspired. You know, many times these uh, sicknesses and, and these problems in people's lives have a spiritual background and a spiritual root problem. But we're just going to tackle this in prayer and we're going to pray for Matthew. I want you guys together to stand in agreement for Matthew's healing. So let's pray for Matthew, guys. Father God, we pray right now for Matthew. We ask you, Lord, in Jesus' name, that you would just show up in his life, that you would bring healing to his body. We command all pain to leave his mind, to leave his head, to leave his body in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual bondage, we break you now free from uh, Matthew. Loose your grip from Matthew in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for Matthew's life. We thank you for Matthew's recovery. We thank you for the procedure that everything will... Um, be a speedy recovery Lord and that everything will be brought back into perfect alignment with regards to his health and we ask you for a testimony from this prayer as we believe together by faith that you are working a miracle in Matthew's life as we pray Father God in Jesus name we believe and receive it by faith amen and amen yeah glory to God Uyapo welcome to the love brother glory to God uh just all glory to God. Uh, hi to you, uh, Herbstag. What's your YouTube name, Prince? Welcome. It's just Jordan Wilson, I believe. But let me just double check. It's not my old username. Uh, because Charlene, welcome. Thank you for the heart me. I appreciate that. So, yeah, my YouTube channel is just Jordan Wilsonach. Um, so if you click on my profile, you'll see my name there, Jordan Wilsonach. I don't think I was able to change my name to Jordan Wilsonach because someone else used that name. I don't know if they want, wanted to, uh, uh, mess, mess me around with using my name. I still have to get that sorted out and I might have to contact TikTok so I can get my name back. Um, that's why I couldn't change my, my username, but my account name is that Jordan Wilson and that's my YouTube channel. So yeah, um, it is his will and we'll get there by faith. Amen. I believe that frights and I believe that for the glory of God, hundred percent. I tried YouTube. It didn't work, but TikTok is more humble, simple, and easy to use 100% man. But also with the thing with YouTube is it's a long-term process. You have to be consistent, you have to be persistent, and you have to never give up. 
um, to be able to be successful on YouTube, you gotta uh, keep posting like hundreds of videos over even years to really see if you will uh, be able to be effective on YouTube because also the thing is the quality of your videos plays a huge role when it comes to YouTube. YouTube is almost like it's become like a, a, a TV program almost. Many accounts have weekly videos and then they go and those they watch those weekly videos that take a lot of time and effort to make but when it comes to making TikToks you spend not even five minutes and you can make a whole uh, TikTok uh, you know, one two minute TikTok posted, it's really quick and easy, gets to a lot of people, and that's great. And that is really effective when spreading the word of God. Unfortunately, though, for South Africans, we don't have the creative fund. So we are not getting anything back from our videos, from our work we're putting into making videos. There's no uh, income to be made from TikTok, from your videos in South Africa. So there's limitations, you know, that you can only do so much. With YouTube, when you eventually get uh, a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch time hours you can start earning money from youtube and it pays a lot better than TikTok will ever and pretty much any other platform as it's the second biggest um search engine and that is the whole goal to get that so that we can if there's an upgrade that is needed we get that if we want to start a podcast we can set that up if we want to start streaming with high quality audio and high quality video that's what that will be there for and everything that is needed to for the expansion um, also more importantly for God's kingdom so that's the idea and YouTube is is a full-time job for many people and that's just one of those things that um, takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of hard work it takes a lot of uh, studying you've got to uh, really educate yourself on the whole uh, uh, idea of how YouTube works and and like how to be a success on YouTube like for example think media think media is an amazing example of uh, a great source of education um, to, to get from YouTube that's who I listen to and the guy Sean Canal uh, is also a believer he's also a Christian he also talks about God obviously his YouTube channel and his team is involved with media and camera gear um, all sorts of helps tips and tricks and all that with regards to media but he also talks about God he also gives glory to God and and that's what I love to see and he um, you know has a great story behind that so you know you can go on there and you can learn that um, it takes a lot of time and takes a lot of hard work so yeah definitely one of those things that you have to do if you want to be able to to be a YouTuber, it's not as easy, um, you know, w compared to being coming a TikTok and all that. Um, anyway, clarity. I just got again on a certain friend has been out of my life recently. Wow, that's amazing, big smiley. That's amazing. Amen, JD. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Good evening, Charlene. I hope you're well. Uh, amen, brother. Love the prayer. Glory to God. Praise Jesus. Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Uh, your surname sound Russian. Really? Yeah. Well, it's actually German. Um, uh, that A-C-H at the end is pronounced with a, a, a weird kind of uh, way with how Afrikaans uh, people pronounce G. In Afrikaans, when you're using the word G, uh, sorry, the, the, the letter G in a word, you'd uh, pronounce it as G. Like, you going to the shops, a gaan, uh, or something, I'm sorry, my Afrikaans is terrible. And then, yeah, for German, this ACH is the Wilson Ach. It's pretty weird. But that's just how it is. <laughs> I feel myself getting stronger with the prayer. That's awesome, Uapo. And you know what? The best key to having clarity in your life the best key to uh really having your problems solved in life is to pray that's the first thing that you should do is pray uh glory to god prince so true my favorite youtuber took 13 years to blow up that is really just amazing you up and you can see for yourself how long it takes for people to uh, really 
grow on YouTube. Uh, Chris, I don't know who that is. Sorry, man. A happy feast day of St. Francis. I also don't know anything about that. Sorry. Bro, can you do the... No, I'm um, sorry. Um, wow, whoa, whoa. What are these questions, guys? Are you South African? Yes, I am. Now you are prophesying me. I, want, I wanted to start a podcast. Well, you know, you can, it's never too late. Um, really, you can really get started. I encourage you to go over to Think Media. They also have a separate YouTube channel called Think Media Podcast. And you can learn so much from um, the Think Media team and from Sean Canal himself as uh, he's got a playlist on Think Media channel with um, all the live streams that he's done and all the live streams like people have done on his team. I think there's a team of 30 people, um, but Sean Canal is he's the, the, basically the owner of the channel um, and he started the channel. Um, so I encourage you to check out his content and he's a Christian. He doesn't swear He's he, he clean content. Sometimes he gets a bit tough uh, on, on his um, Approach with teaching people, but I love that about him really because tough love Sometimes is the only way to really learn is by tough love and it's it reminds me a bit of how God's word says that he disciplines those he loves God does give us tough love sometimes um, but it's the best thing for us and um, so we should not um, disregard God's discipline. God's discipline is so valuable if we could only know how valuable God's discipline is for us. Good evening, Gert. Welcome to the love. Thanks for the encouragement, brother. Consistency is key. Yeah, definitely. And I'd love to perhaps have a testimony one day to talk about it on, uh, on, on any sort of platform, uh, preferably YouTube, about not just growing on YouTube, but especially TikTok and what God has done in my life with regards to TikTok. Because I used to just want to do TikTok for the views and the, and the likes and all that. And, um, you know, I, a, a lot changed for me when I actually decided to keep the content Bible-based, keep the content uh, based on spreading the Word of God. And because I've been doing that, my channel probably hasn't grown as much as it could have. But think about the fact that you're reaching more people with the Word of God doing that than trying to blow up doing worldly things. So, yeah, but there's nothing wrong with also having fun and having perhaps a different account um, that you do uh, other usual things in your life, other things that might be vlogging, it might be testing stuff out, it might be whatever uh, niche you are involved with apart from uh, a ministry channel like for example there's a guy by the name of Alvin Ace I don't know if you guys have heard of him uh, he is uh, more active on YouTube than any other platform I'd say I think he's also got an Instagram I don't know I don't think he even has a TikTok account but he's so he's done so well on YouTube and now recently he's also made a second account and he's in full-time ministry and he's also in uh, uh, sports He's in a wheelchair, he's got an amazing story, so he was in an accident, so he's like pretty much paralyzed from the waist down, um, and we also believe that God will heal him, um, and he will be able to walk again. Um, I believe that that will happen in the future as well, so he's going through a journey like that, but he has a separate account also for vlogging and just like any other kind of... Uh, 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 usual thing that he likes he likes to do when it comes to sports when it comes to uh, anything else really juicy welcome to the love um, I'm starting to feel more at peace with my breakup of Saturday God is really coming through um, well cat I'm I'm uh, amazed to hear uh, from you how you understand this revelation and how God is really coming through and God is always there to come through for us he's not um, you know he's not waiting for himself to come through in his timing he's waiting for us to trust in him so that his will be done in our lives really so yeah that's good to hear man uh, Jordan thanks for the heart me gift there man appreciate that uh, Jocelyn I'm from Johannesburg South Africa welcome to the live by the way People give you glory 
you give it to God. Jordan is a true man of God. I mean, I cannot take any glory for myself, really. It all belongs to God. I'm nothing but a uh, human being, just like you guys. Uh, but with Jesus, He is the strength inside of me. He is the source of my strength. And I, I want that to also be clear and evident in your guys' lives uh, that we become doers of the Word of God and we give God the glory for that. And we, we, what, what puts the fear of God in our hearts, even uh, when we read the story such as like um, Herod took praise for himself from the people, he didn't give glory to God. He took the praise for himself and he, he was eaten by worms and he died. And that, that's a pretty scary story. It makes you really want to have the fear of God and want to be sure that you are not receiving credit and praise from people, but that you are diverting it to God and you, you are rather giving the praise and honor and glory to God because you are no better than the other person on the other end. Because we've all sinned, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. Even Paul, when they wanted to make sacrifices to Paul or to Peter, someone in the book of Acts who were recently reading about it, I think it could have been Paul. Um, they wanted to make sacri sacrifices, I think, to Paul and Barnabas. And Paul tore his clothes and he went in and amongst the multitude. And he said, you know, like, we have the same nature. You know, like, you know, and that's the same thing. You know, like, I'm not better than you, you're not better than me. We all... Uh, need Jesus and we all uh, you know are loved by God um, amen so yeah that's it you German as well my dad is German I can speak German and understand it but I can't write German that's interesting begs uh, <clears throat> excuse me as much as I might be uh, somewhat German from generations past um, I don't really know any German myself and I don't um, I'm not involved with learning the language and that kind of stuff so I'm quite uh, quite South African if you can put it like that but yeah I'm from from I think maybe seven between seven and twelve generations past um, uh, is goes back to Germany for me for for my uh, dad side so yeah thanks for the gift there sorry i'm just gonna check it out just now um you speak some dutch that's interesting juicy that's cool i'm um, well thanks and you juicy thank you brother or check think media out on uh you put me on yeah definitely check them out and if you still have it on your heart to do something with youtube whether it is podcasting whether it is vlogging or whatever definitely check out I think media and go through the live stream playlist and you will see a lot of helpful information a lot of awesome videos that excuse me that won't only encourage you um to to do youtube but to uh be educated with how to do youtube yeah um so glory to god guys cutting it fine with my upload it's got nine minutes left to upload and we've got 15 minutes left, so it's cutting and fun because it still has to process as well. Um, anyway, uh, God has been showing me tough love. I feel beat down, but He is a good Father. God is also good and He knows what He's doing. When we just submit to His ways, then He makes our path straight. Amen. Praise God. Those whom the Father loves, He chastens. Amen. I like to pray for His. Amen. That's awesome for Matthew. Yeah, I believe it was. You've opened my mind. My old YouTube channel was based on vlogs, YouTube profit. Oh, glory to God. No, I'm just, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm whoever God says I am. Praise, praise to God. Um, you know, um, you, you are poor. I encourage you, man. Definitely, definitely, definitely pray about it. And, 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 you know, I'm also on the journey myself. It's, it's been something that has been up and down thing for me as well. I've been active and then, uh, not so active. Now, be, being active and now recently just learning a lot more about YouTube and how to uh, get involved with becoming a YouTuber. Um, so it's a process. It's a journey. So, uh, you know, we, we, we do it together and we we work on it. Yeah. Jordan, I hope you're doing great, man. Thanks for all the, the gifts to the live, man. Yeah. God bless you, Juicy. No, it's a pleasure. Glory to God. <laughs> you wapo, I appreciate you so much, man. Please don't use a, a capital K 
for me when you're talking about king you know when the when when the bible t describes jesus as king uh, as king of kings we see that he is uh put as a capital k and uh when it says kings like king of kings it's used with a small k for kings so you know god has even called us to be kings and priests absolutely but always if you're going to say that please use a small k with all due love and respect um please do that because only jesus deserves the capital k just want to point that out but i love you brother and i appreciate you um you know interacting with me on the live and it's great chatting with you uh god bless you god bless you god bless you Jordan is the river that runs out cup of a Ah, <laughs> uh, glory to God. Uh, the glory and honor is always for our God. Exactly, Maureen, 100%, 100%. I feel bad for grown people believing in fictional characters. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, let's not go there. Uh, it's God working through you. You just a sin saved. But God's grace exactly big smiley. It's only by the grace of God that I'm able to sit in front of you guys and talk about God and do a live stream. It's by the grace of God. Um, definitely 100%. Uh, you are a chosen generation royal priesthood. Yes, juicy. That is what I was looking for. Uh, yeah, so I had a vision of you were speaking to other Jesus and you were in a white gown. Really? Is that really true? If that is. It is amazing. That sounds amazing. Uh, you're given an assignment of healing with love. And I heard him say the heart of John. Wow. That is amazing. Juicy. Thank you for saying that. I'll definitely have to take that to the Lord and see what the Lord says about that. But if that word of prophecy, if that, that vision that you had is true, I uh, am truly grateful. And thank you for sharing that. Hi from Scotland. Nice to meet you. Nikki. Great to have you. Uh, great to hear where you're watching from. Hallelujah. MG. Praise God. Uh, may God be with you, my brother, throughout your journey. Thank you, Wapo. To you too, brother. May God take you from strength to strength and glory to glory. Guys, we've got 11 minutes left on the clock. And then, um, unfortunately, I'm going to be uh, heading out uh, because we got load shedding at 8 p.m. I love how we count the minutes uh, when we up. Uh, loading something before load shedding happens yeah we do we count pretty much almost every minute because we only have so much time jordan i have a vision i want to share because i know a lot of us are asking god for needs absolutely cynthia please do share is it just my signal that's so bad tonight oh, charlene i'm sorry to hear that i thought my signal was going to be atrocious tonight because i've done some speed tests today and our upload speed have, has been pretty bad but it seems like it's doing very uh, well tonight with my internet. So I'm sorry to say if it's if it's your side. Um, God said, ask and you will receive all desires from your heart. Yes, praise Jesus. May God bless you in Jesus' name. You too, Rahim. God bless you so much. Yes, I will use a small K to address King Jordan. Jesus is the King of Kings. Thank you so much for saying that, you Apple. Yes, Jesus is the King of Kings with capital K, small K for Kings. And I appreciate you respecting that request of mine because I by no means can take that title. I'm by no means anything great. I'm just like you guys. We all in the same boat and we all need Jesus and uh, praise Jesus. He is our King. He is the King of glory. Amen. I love that. Juicy. Jordan. Uh, good evening, please. I do need your help. Best, what do you need help with? Feel free to put it in the chat. Good night, MG. God bless you. Jordan, it seems like God have given him uh, many gifts past the prophet. Ah, you know, God um, is amazing. And, and God has a purpose for all of our lives. You know, for me, I've had to give up a lot to actually dedicate uh, spending time in ministry. So ministry... Especially if you're going to be looking to do full-time ministry. It requires you to give up all your desires really to God and let Him use you. And that's not a very easy thing. But we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Yeah, Lord shedding at 8 unfortunately. Uh, Sharon, God bless you. God bless you. Thanks for that message. And God with capital G always. Amen. 
God bless man Jesus intercedes for us he told me Matthew 21 22 to ask with faith and you will receive all desires and that is so true um, Cynthia and it's amazing how Jesus intercedes for us it shows you how much he loves us that he didn't only pour out his love for us which was the greatest act of love but that he intercedes for us even to this day he um, desires us to come to repentance praise God please may I ask for your prayers for my um, uh, uh, permanent headache oh I'm sorry to hear that okay yeah I'm gonna pray for you for sure Diane let's pray for Diane guys we are gonna come against this uh, problem um, and we are gonna pray against this problem in the name of Jesus are you ready to receive your healing Diane Jesus is ready he's waiting to touch you but I want you guys to also pray for Diane so just stretch your hands out towards the screen or whatever but let's pray for Diane father God we come before you in the name of Jesus and we thank you for Diane's life. We come against this pain. We come against this headache. We come against any bit of witchcraft. And we sever all witchcraft in the name of Jesus. And we come against every spirit of infirmity. We command every spirit of infirmity to leave Diane in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for your healing power that's flowing through Diane's brain, through Diane's uh, head and body in Jesus name we claim total healing by Jesus stripes Diane is healed we speak the name of Jesus over Diane we speak healing over Diane and we thank you Father God for a testimony from this prayer and we thank you for healing we thank you for setting free we thank you for your goodness and your miracle working power in Diane's life in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen and you know what Diane you know, sometimes it, it, it is a spiritual thing. That's why we take authority over the spiritual darkness because the Bible says in Ephesians, I think it's 6.12, that, you know, um, the fight is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers of darkness. Many times when it comes to migraines, when it comes to headaches, it be, it's because of some sort of spiritual thing, some sort of spiritual root. So we always have to just take authority over Satan um, and, and stand our ground and cast him out in the name of Jesus. We also right now just plead the blood of Jesus over Diane's body, over Diane's life in Jesus' name. Uh, thank you for that, Rosa there. Daniel, I appreciate that. Uh, praise God, praise God. As a father, grandfather, and sinner, your posts are so uplifting, encouraging, sending much love. I appreciate that, Daniel. All glory to the King of Kings, the God Almighty. Praise to Him. Thank you for that comment uh god be with uh diane i'm sorry if i'm saying your name wrong i think i'm saying it right that she may f um feeling the the healing hand of christ amen thank you for standing in agreement truth inspired um surrender is sweet i'm only dust with his presence abba jesus is the treasure within me praise jesus juicy praise jesus and yes yes God bless you so much, Diane. You are healed by Jesus stripes. You are healed in Jesus' name. Also, one thing that has really helped me in the past is by keep on confessing the word of God that says, by Jesus stripes, I'm healed. By Jesus stripes, I'm healed. By confessing that again and again, you are increasing in faith. You are standing your ground with the, with the authority of Christ that you will trample on snakes and scorpions because Satan is under your feet. You are the head and not the toe. Well, you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath because of Jesus. Amen. Diane is the, under the blood of Jesus soaked from her head to her feet. Yes, in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, Diane. So it is Diane. I believe I'm saying it right. Thanks for clarifying that. Uh, sing for us, Jordan Uapo. I used to want to sing when I was younger, but please don't make me do it. I will probably chase you all away <laughs> it's best that i do not sing um but thanks for asking nonetheless guys let me pray for you as we are about to end the live we running out of time unfortunately for tonight uh <laughs> yeah guys you don't want to hear me sing trust me it's, it's a bad idea let's pray i want to pray for you guys and then we can end this love father god we thank you for this evening father god we uh, we pray a blessing of peace over every mind over every 
person under the sound of my voice, Lord, that you would just pour out your love into their hearts. You would bring peace into their lives, into their hearts, Lord, and that you would, Father God, guide them and lead them into all truth. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would equip us with boldness and with strength, with wisdom, so that we can be effective for the kingdom of God. And we thank you, Lord, for your angels that encamp around us, that protect us, that you watch over us and that you have us in the palm of your hand. Thank you, Father, that you'll never leave us. You'll never, you'll never forsake us. And we thank you for your goodness in our lives. We thank you for testimonies from uh, tonight, Lord, and, and just of your goodness, Lord. We praise you and we thank you. We give you all the glory, all the praise and thanks. And we thank you, Jesus, for the blood, the blood that covers us. So we plead the blood of Jesus over every person under the sound of this voice. Plead the blood of Jesus and we thank you, Father God, for sanctifying. We thank you, Father God, for cleansing. We thank you, Father God, for protecting. In your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Guys, that was powerful. That was certainly powerful. Such an awesome love. Nice spending some time with you guys, sharing God's word and chatting with you guys. I love you all with the love of Christ. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow night. Daniel, thank you so much for that amazing garland gift all the support really helps and it really goes a long way so i appreciate that support daniel and god bless you all um we'll be back again tomorrow night for another awesome bible reading session and more but god bless you guys peace be with you in jesus name and yeah i gotta go unfortunately but we'll be, we'll be back again tomorrow night. I can't tell what time the load shedding schedule sometimes changes without us even knowing. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Begs, I don't know. But anyway, um, thank you guys for spending some time together. And uh, yeah, it was a great time. God bless you all. Peace and love to all of you guys. I'll see you. God bless.